What's going on guys? This is Ferox or Joey uh, bringing you a video overlay tutorial. Um, a lot of you guys have actually been interested in a tutorial from me so I'm like why not do a basic tutorial on a video overlay and in case you don't know what a video overlay is it's just it's just like something to overlay your videos. It goes over your videos, your stream and it, sh and it shows shows uh, the viewers your links uh, and just pretty yeah you know what Here's an example right here on the screen. Um, uh, this is an overlay I did for Phase Racky uh, last week or two weeks ago. I'm not sure, um, but yeah. So this is an example of what we're going to be creating. So what you want to do, you want to create a new project, 1280 by 720, um, and you don't really necessarily have to have a Call of Duty screenshot in the background. I just use this as something to design over. It looks a lot nicer than designing over a white a white screen. And it kind of gives me an idea of like what spaces of the what spaces of the screen to avoid putting something on because you don't want to be blocking all the heads up display right now for the sake of this tutorial we're just gonna do everything by eye we're not gonna make it all perfect you know because I wanna I wanna do this quick I don't want you guys to be watching a 15 minute video or a 20 minute video so what you want to do select your color now for this tutorial I'm gonna be using orange so I have a nice vibrant orange color here. Um, and then select your rectangle tool. What we're going to do, we're just going to come up to the left side, click and drag all the way to the right side. And the width for this doesn't really matter. We're going to rasterize the layer. And then we're just going to size it down. And of course, remember this isn't perfect. So now we have our top bar. So what we're going to do, we're going to open up the layer style. So just double click on the layer. And... Um, Let's do let's do a nice stroke. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the size down to one. And the color of the stroke, we're gonna do like a light orangish yellow. So it's gonna be like a nice highlight on the edge of it. So let's grab that color. Now you might not be able to see it that clearly in my video, but when you when you guys do this yourself, you, you'll tell it makes a huge difference. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go uh, do a pattern overlay, and I'm just gonna select a carbon fiber pattern. And then I'm going to change the blend mode to screen. Um, and that will make it look a lot nicer too. So yeah, and then again, you, you probably won't be, this, won't be able to see it that clearly in the video. But it adds a nice texture. And um, if you want to know where I get this pattern from, you can just find, you can find patterns like this all over, uh, all over the internet. Just Google, just Google Photoshop patterns. You'll find one. Um, they're not too hard to find. But yeah, so there we go. We have our top bar, and this top bar is where where we're gonna put our links. So now, what we want is a nameplate. And when I make overlays, I like the name to stick out, you know, because it's kind of like the focal point. Um, it's it's pretty much it's who you are, you know, you, and you want to advertise that name or that brand. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna select our rectangle tool again, and we want the nameplate to be a little bit thicker or a little bit wider than this this top bar right here. So. bring it out to there okay now we're gonna rasterize that layer and then copy the layer style of our first rectangle and right click and paste it on the nameplate so now they both have the same layer style now as you can see this is sticking out a little bit too much here so we're just gonna select uh, we're gonna select our move tool and just move it up just just a little um, now what we'll, now what I want to do, I want to give it some nice sharp, you know, slanted edges on either side. So what we're going to do, select your pen tool, which is over here, um, and then click somewhere, somewhere on the inside of the rectangle, and then hold down shift and click. Oh, okay, we messed up there, but that's okay. So what I just did, I just un undid what I, I just undid everything. Now we're going to do it again. So I clicked closer to the inside more and we're going to shift and click. And then what we're going to do, we're going to just keep clicking and connect the anchor point again. And so what we're going to do, we're going to cut off this little piece right here to make it like a slanted edge. So what we're going to do is right click, make selection. Okay. And then just press delete on your keyboard and then select and deselect. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side, but we don't want to cut off too much because we cut off a lot on the right side. So on the left side, 
just see what we can do here. Okay, yeah, that's not that much to cut off. Just do the same thing as last time. Make selection, okay. Delete on your keyboard, select, deselect. So now we wanna move, we wanna move this nameplate. I'm gonna call it a nameplate in the more in the middle of the of the of the overlay of the background. So what I what we're gonna do here, we're gonna since since our first rectangle is the same width as the as a, as the screen, what we're gonna do, we're gonna highlight that one and then hold down shift and then click on the on the smaller rectangle or on the nameplate. And then make sure you have your move tool selected and click click this uh click this thing right here I'm hovering my mouse over. Um it, what it does is just aligns everything to the center and when you're designing anything, you want it to be in the middle of the screen. Uh, symmetry is key. <laughs> okay, so now I want to make this nameplate pop out a little bit more. I want to give it a drop shadow. But just listen closely because uh, a lot of people make this mistake. They put a drop shadow on the whole overlay and the drop shadow is overlaying or is going over the the screen or the gameplay and it looks awful it, it pixelates the drop shadow gets really pixelated and everything it looks really bad so um keep this in mind do not put a drop shadow on the overlay okay i'll show you what i'm gonna do um so what we're gonna do um we're gonna create a new layer under over top of the long rectangle and underneath the nameplate and we're gonna make sure we have a black color selected select a soft brush. Now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna put it around 400 pixels. Um, and what we're gonna do, you're gonna try to align your brush into the center of the of the nameplate, right? It doesn't have to be perfect, but just try to get it in the center. And then just click once. And as you can see, there is some there is some shadowing over top of the over top of the where our gameplay is gonna be. So what we're gonna do is right click on the layer and create clipping mask over the longer rectangle. And as you can see, the drop shadow just stays on the rectangle and it looks like it gives it it gives it some uh, you know, some some dimension. You know what I mean? Like I don't know, it's hard to explain, but as you can see it looks really nice that way. So now what we're going to do, we're going to add our name. Um and this since this is a focal point, you want it to be you want you want the text to be a little bit bigger and we're gonna use a nice. We're gonna use a nice thick font for this. Uh, it's gonna be called Pro, It's called Proxima Nova. Uh, it's a really nice font. A lot of people always ask me what fonts I use. So make sure you. We and we want it to be white because white really stands out over uh, over almost any color. But we're gonna use white for this. So I'm just gonna put. Gonna move the layer above. Make sure the the uh, the text layer is on top. I'm just gonna put your name it's a nice it's a nice font and it's really small so what we're gonna do we're just gonna make it a little bit bigger and then again remember when you're aligning stuff to the center just shift shift and click on the first layer and then on the second one and just click this little alignment thing right in the middle so now it's right in the middle of the screen we're just going to bring this down a little bit. Okay, for some reason this looks a little off center, but that's okay. Um, I just want to keep this tutorial a little bit short. So now that we have that right there, we're, we're going to move this up a little bit. Just go by eye, I guess. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and we're going to add a drop shadow to make it pop out even more. So open up your layer styles, click drop shadow. Put the opacity down to 25. Um, uncheck use global light angle to 90 degrees so the drop shadow is going to be right below the text and then we're going to move the size down to zero and the distance the distance can go to four yeah the distance looks great at four so as you can see like and almost it almost makes it look three-dimensional not exactly but it's it's popping out you know it like really makes a statement you know that is your channel that is your brand right there you know and that's you want it to stand out um now what we're gonna do we're gonna add some social icons or social links um and we're just gonna use youtube and twitter for this one on either side um for the sake of time 
So what we're going to do, select our magic wand tool, just click on the Twitter burn, grab your move tool, and just cut it out and bring it over to the layer you're working, or the project you're working on. And you can slightly see a blue, a blue outline on this. So what we're going to do, just double click on the layer, color overlay, white. And then you can rasterize the layer. And we're going to do the same thing for YouTube. Select your magic wand tool. And now since YouTube, there is more than one things you have to click with the magic wand. What you have to do is shift click on everything you want to select. So you can select a whole bunch at once. And then select your move tool again. And just click and drag it to the project you're working on. Now YouTube has a slight, uh, a slight red outline too. So we're going to just add a color overlay, rasterize the layer, and there, there, there we go. So now we want to bring this on to the link bar or the longer rectangle. We're just going to scale it down. Now remember, this doesn't have to be, I'm not, I'm not making this perfect because, you know, I want, you know, I could put more links, but you guys get the idea. We're going to have links on the on either side. But uh, So now that we have YouTube there, that looks like a pretty good size. So what we're going to do, we're going to select it with our move tool. And then we're going to use rulers to size down Twitter to make the Twitter logo the same height. So if you guys don't already have rulers, if you can see, there's like these measurements on the on the left and top of my, of my, uh, of my screen. So if you don't have rulers, what you want to do is view and make sure rulers is checked. So now what we can do, we can bring a ruler down and line it up with YouTube. I'm gonna zoom in a little. Line it up with the top of YouTube and then bring another ruler down, line it up with the bottom. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna bring the tw Twitter bird here and we're gonna make it the same height. Just make sure you have a, the top lined up with the line and all you can do is scale it down. Make sure when you're scaling something down to shift and click on the corner and move it in as you're, as you're holding shift. And there we go, now that, now that they're the same height, what we're gonna do, we're gonna move the Twitter bird all the way and line it up with the edge of YouTube. And you'll see why in a moment. Um, now we're, what we're gonna do is just view clear guides, it clears the guides. Let's go, let's zoom out again. We're gonna add some text. For the text, let's make it uh, size 24. That seems like a good size. And we're just gonna put your name for the text make it just regular font not bold the, the, the font or the text actually looks a little bit too big so we're gonna make it a little bit smaller yeah 18 18 looks pretty nice so now what you want to do you want to move your text closer not too close to the social icon because you want to be able to differentiate the two so that looks like a pretty good that looks pretty well that looks pretty good so now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna duplicate the layer, so Control J, or you can right click on the layer and click duplicate. So now what we're gonna do is bring one link to one side, and we're just gonna center it here. And if you shift, if you shift and move it, like you can see, like it's stopping at certain points, and I think this point is the center. And then we're gonna just center this one on this side too. That looks pretty good. So what I, what, what I want to do, I want to use the same layer style as we have on the main text on the, on the social icons. So we're just going to copy the layer style and paste it onto the social icons. And as you can see, it looks a little bit long, so we're just going to shorten it. Let's put it down to three. Yeah, three looks pretty nice. pretty good so there you have it there you have your overlay um, I hope 15 minutes isn't too long for this I hope my uh, this tutorial was as thorough as possible uh, I'm a little bit rusty I haven't done a tutorial in a long time um, and I hope I wasn't wasn't going too fast or wasn't or I hope I was explaining enough anyways guys if you have any other tutorial suggestions just comment below uh, and if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like I really appreciate that 
Um, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.